mathematical measurement of price elasticity for this you are going to take this formula ep is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded of product x divided by percentage change in price of product x so this uh, you can convert it by using simple equation percentage triangle qx divided by percentage triangle px so what this this uh, triangle qx stands for triangle qx stands for change in quantity demanded of uh, product x and triangle px stands for change in price of product x so for finding out uh, this uh, triangle qx percentage triangle qx you can use this formula that is qx2 minus qx1 by qx1 if you use this you will get the percentage triangle qx value and for getting this uh, triangle percentage triangle px value you can use another formula that is px2 minus px1 divided by px so now you can substitute this uh, thing in this uh, formula you, you can have another formula in place of triangle uh, percentage triangle qx you replace with qx2 minus qx1 by qx1 and divide it with in place of percentage uh, triangle px you write the replace the px2 minus px1 divided by px1 okay what is qx1 stands for it is quantity before change in the price okay and qx2 stands for quantity after change in price px1 stands for before change in price px2 stands for after change in price okay so here we are having uh, qx2 minus qx1 divided by is there no so to we can convert this into simple manner we can rewrite this by using like this qx2 minus qx1 divided by px2 minus px1 into px1 divided by qx1 so in this manner we can convert this formula into simple way okay because it is divided by is are there no that we have converted into multiplication here so for this uh, how we can measure this identify the different types of price elasticity let us uh, take a small problem for that you can understand this how to utilize this equation so everyone take this uh, information and find out qx1 qx2 qx uh, px1 and px2 see a manufacturer of biscuits is selling 1000 units at a price of 10 rupees each and he is planning to increase the price of biscuits by 10 percentage by which he is going to sell the uh, biscuits the the sales of the biscuits is reduced to 950 units you need to find out the type of elasticity of demand so such questions may be given for short answer questions okay so from this you first find out uh, what is q1 qx1 and what is p1 qx2 and px2 everyone find out that 
and substitute the values in the formula. So let us derive first. Qx1 is equal to, that means before change the sale of price, the sales are 1000 units now. So take it as Qx1. At uh, 1000 units, the price is how much? That you take as P1. That is equal to 10 rupees now. P1 is equal to 10 rupees. And it is increasing, price is increasing. So at that, uh, 950 units are sold now. So this 950 units you take as Q2. And P2 is equal to, you take the 10 percentage, you add 10 percentage to the uh, previous price. So 10 rupees plus 10 percent increase of 10 rupees. That means 10 into 10 percentage. You add to this 10 rupees. You will get how much? 11 rupees. Okay, so now you are having all the values Q1, P1, Q2, P2. So substitute these values in the formula and find out what is the result that you are getting. Everyone should do this. Once you do, then only you will remember. Use the formula, last formula, simplified formula. Substitute these values and then you will get the result. Two minutes I will give time to complete that. Result you post in chat. Chat box. I think two minutes is enough. Simple calculation. Make it fast. What is the result? What is the result? So you have to write all these steps. You have to write the formula, simplified formula, Qx2 minus Qx1 divided by Px2 minus Px1 into Px1 divided by Qx2, sorry, Qx1. So by substituting the values, how much you are getting? 950 minus 1000 divided by 11 minus 10 into 10 divided by 1000. So what is the result that you are going to get here? This is minus 50 divided by 1 rupee multiplied by 10 rupees divided by 1000. So that will give you minus 500 by 1000. That is equal to minus 0 0.5. You, you can even strike off the zeros, minus 5 by 10 also you can take here. So this is minus 0 0.5. So don't look at a minus or plus. You look at the result, that is 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 is less than 1, no? So less than 1 indicates what? Relatively inelastic demand. If the values are given and if you got a year, uh, one result is one then that indicates that unitary elastic demand and if you get zero value that indicates that it is perfectly perfectly 
inelastic demand. Zero is the perfectly inelastic demand. So in case of inelastic demand, there is a little bit change in the uh, sales, of course. But when you compare that uh, for profit, how much you are going to increase here, even sales are reduced. For 1,000, 10 rupees, at 10 rupees, you are going to earn how much? 10,000 rupees. 915 to 11 rupees, how much you are getting? Thousand, thousand forty-five. You will get right, right. So that means even if you are reducing the price, you are you are earning. Sorry, even if you are increasing the price and the, there is reduction in the sales, it is increasing your earnings, right? So. For uh, such for such decisions, if in this manner, if you are going to analyze and based on the result, you can easily take that decision of uh, reduce uh, increasing the price or not. Okay, this is how elasticity of demand will be helping you in fixing your price of the product. So, in case of inelastic demand. Uh, the manufacturer can increase the price. In inelastic demand itself is telling you that there is no change in the sales or a slight change will be there in the sales. So a slight change will not affect your earnings. No? So anyhow, we are doing uh, everything for earning profits. So if profits are more, then even a slight decrease in the sales will not affect the business, right? So such decisions can be taken if analysis is done like this by using this price elasticity of demand. And next topic comes income elasticity of demand. No? So it is in, for this, you better use the same procedure of uh, uh, there is five topics, five types are there, no? Here also you are going to you measure it by using the graphical measurement and as well as the mathematical measurement. Even in cross elasticity also you are going to use the two types. In, in graphical measurement you... What happened to this? So in, uh, income elasticity indicates that you are going to compare the percentage change in the demand as well as income of the consumer. How it is, if income is changing, how the sales are changing that you are going to measure here. I hope sharing is uh, off to you. Is it shared? There is a disturbance in between, disturbance in network. Can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. So income elasticity also, you are going to measure graphical measurement you are going to use and the mathematical measurement you are going to use. So for this, I am not going to explain in detail how you are going to do it for price elasticity, same way you are going to do that. So here also you can come across a perfectly income elastic demand. Here EI is equal to infinity and perfectly income inelastic demand. 
where EI is equal to, and here price in price elasticity, how you have used the same manner you are using, only the thing is here, you are adding income to the types. That difference you might have identified here. Relatively income elastic demand. And relatively income inelastic demand. and unitary income elastic demand. So the same graph you are going to use, but instead of price, you replace it with the income. On y-axis, you have shown the price of the product. Now you change it to income of the consumer on y-axis. And the remaining uh, same graphs you can use here. this has been changed okay for uh, in mathematical measurement you are going to use this uh, formula but instead of price you change the denominator see here you are identifying now percentage change in income of product tax income of sorry income of consumer you have to change here okay not product tax income of consumer so this you convert it into equations. Uh, EI is equal to percentage triangle QX divided by percentage triangle I. Instead of P, we are taking as I. Okay. That change you, you are observing now. So in case of this, uh, uh, Percentage change in income of consumer, you can use this I2 minus I1 by I1. So that we are going to replace here. QX2 minus QX1 divided by QX1. Whole divided by I2 minus I1 divided by I1. By simplifying this, we can rewrite this. QX2 minus QX1 divided by I2 minus I1 into I1 by QX1. So this formula you are going to use to measure this uh, income elasticity. I am not repeating the graphs again. Same graph you replace and uh, you replace in place of income. Uh, sorry, in place of price, you replace with the income. That's all you use those. Once you learn price elasticity, you can write all these things. Coming to the cross elasticity. So here we will see this little bit changes are there. So in this, we are going to use the percentage change in quantity demanded of product tax to percentage change in price of product Y. So this is product Y. Here it is changing here instead of product X, we are using here in case of uh, cross elasticity product Y. This is the slight change you can observe here. The same definitions we are using, but instead of uh, the price. We are using here cross product price. Okay. And in case of measurement, here also we are going to use the two types graphical and mathematical measurement. In case of cross elasticity, we can divide them into three types. Of One, it is the positive cross elasticity. One, it is negative cross elasticity. And the third one, it is zero or infinite uh, cross elasticity. These are the three types we can come across in cross elasticity. Positive cross elasticity means here, in case of substitutes, there will be positive effect we have discussed while discussing about the substitutes, right? So that is what you are going to use here. Here an example is given here. 
uh, example of uh, music sales of digital music uh, which is affecting the growth of broadband and it is going to uh, affect the prices decreasing the prices for downloads so which which has uh, uh, because this uh, downloads broadband downloads are available for lower prices it has affected the mu music cds used to be there previously that is the cds uh, demand has been uh, sharply fallen down right so that example you can give here now completely it is closed cds no one is using because of broadbands does downloads free downloads and come into the positive cross elasticity graph you can show this graph x axis y axis so on x axis you are going to show the demand of a uh, product x and on y axis here you are bringing change here slight change price of product y instead of x you take it as product y positive cross elasticity demand curve will be flowing left to right upwards in this manner as you are seeing in the graph now so like that it will flow from left to right upwards there is a network problem why disturbance is there in network today okay let us take this uh, price uh, price of product x y as p and quantity of product x as q and when price uh, price of product y is increasing to p1 the sales of the product x will be increasing why this will take place means if uh, product uh, suppose if product x and product y are having uh, same quant uh, same price at that time product x is sold q quantity so let us say 1000 units it was sold when the price of y has been increased to p1 p1 means let us take some price it has been increased then automatically that sales of product y will be reducing no so that uh, that will affect that uh, then the product x price will be showing less than the product y price so automatically people will shift to product x so which is going to increase the quantity of sales of product x as we have taken in coffee and tea uh, example no if coffee price is going to increase automatically uh, people will shift to tea and the sales of tea will be increasing because it is cheaper than coffee it is available at cheaper price than coffee so that is how uh, that will be affected here cross product is affected here so this this is how it is called as what positive uh, effect of cross elasticity of demand so x axis y axis you have to write and while writing the dd curve demand curve is flowing from left to right upwards you have to write see left to right upwards always you have to explain the graph from left to right how it is flowing so p1 p to p1 if the price is increasing the quantity is increasing to q to q1 increasing here you have to keep in mind that increase in price and increase in quantity if suppose uh, y products price is reducing from p1 to p the sales will be uh, sorry the sales of x will be will also 
decrease because that y will be available for cheaper than product x so automatically people will shift from x product to y product so that is the reason when price of y reduces uh, sales will also reduce to product x so this is what it is called as what positive cross elasticity of demand so when substitutes are of two types we can take when there are closed substitutes a small rise in price of x will cause a large uh, rise in price of uh, demand of a y okay if they are not closed substitutes in such a case uh, there won't be that much of effect of uh, sales in the Uh, product x so this is how we can show the so see here price is uh, when it is close substitute even uh, the price is changing a small change p1 p2 difference is less whereas quantity from q1 q2 it is more okay so when they are not close substitutes weaker substitutes we can say so then we can say that the price uh, large uh, change in price is real. also uh, it is not going to affect the sales of x see only small change in sales of x is taking place so this is how we can differentiate when they are close substitutes and when they are weak substitutes we must be very careful while uh, uh fixing the price taking into consideration the competitors whether the pro competitor uh, product is very close to our product or whether it is a weak product if it is weak product we can uh we can easily bring change uh, in price more uh, more and more if it is a very close substitute we cannot uh, increase our product price as much as we can okay we have to be very careful while it is close substitutes and in case of complementary products there will be negative cross elasticity as joint products is there no this we have discussed while discussing about the uh, cross uh, demand so uh, i am going very fast now so in this case what happens uh, even a product is complementary products so a slight change in the uh, price of uh, one product will be affecting negatively the quantity of sales of y product so this is what we are going to show in this negative case so in this curve will be uh, same as a demand curve on x axis you will show the quantity demand of product x and price of product y on y axis so see here from left to right downwards demand curve will be flowing in case of complementary products this is called as what negative cross elasticity demand law of demand la kuda ilage kada flow ayindi సేమ్ అదే తీసుకుని ఇక్కడ డ్రా చేస్తాం ప్రైస్ పి ఉన్నప్పుడు వై ప్రోడక్ట్ సేల్స్ అనేది పి వన్ ఉంటుంది వెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ పి వన్ ఇంక్రీస్ ఇట్ టు పి వన్ క్వాంటిటీ విల్ బి రెడ్యూస్ టు క్యూ ద సేమ్ థింగ్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ బిలో సో హియర్ రేట్ ఎ లిటిల్ విట్ చేంజ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ నాట్ డన్ హియర్ ఇట్ ఏ మిస్టేక్ ఇస్ దర్ దిస్ ఇస్ డౌన్వర్డ్స్ dd is the demand curve which is flowing left to right downwards increase in price decreases the sales of x y price decreases means it will increase the sales of x x product so this is called as what negative cross elasticity of demand
so here also we can say that close complementaries are there and the weaker complementaries are there very close complementaries means without that product another product is not going to be utilized in such case uh, we can say that it is close complementary so sometimes we can replace with some other product uh, means then we can say that it is weak complementaries see here a little bit change when they are joint completely joint one without the other it is not going to be used like that products are there means a slight change in the price also brings a large uh, sales will be affected okay so in, in such a case if you reduce the price automatically you can increase the sales of x product a slight change in price a reduction in price of y will increase the sales of x if they are not the complementary so weak complementary so even if a, a large price is reduced there won't be that much of effect on uh, sales of the x product okay and zero cross elasticity means completely individual products they are not depending on one another in such case zero cross elasticity we will call it as for example you can take uh, examples of uh, taxi fares uh, whether it is going to affect on cheese or not it will not affect the cheese sales no so when you compare like that individual products then there will be zero cross elasticity so in this case sometimes it may be uh, infinite cross elasticity sometimes it may be zero cross elasticity if you can substitute uh, if you can substitute the product then we will call it as perfect substitutable so then infinity cross elasticity will be there in such case zero cross elasticity will be there which we can show it uh, as perfectly in elastic case there will be zero demand change in demand no? the same graph you can show here uh, the thing is you have to change the price of y y product on y axis it's like even if you increase or decrease in uh, taxi fares it won't affect the sales of cheese here in this example so zero elasticity of demand so for 5 minutes i will give this uh, equation and i will close here so same is uh, mathematical measurement same formula but the numerator will be changed here instead of product Uh, price of product x you take here price of y or y product see here it is represented by ec that is equal to triangle qx percentage divided by percentage triangle py instead of uh, in price elasticity we have taken as px no here you take it as py same everything is same only the change is numerator sorry denominator triangle py for triangle py you take it as uh, py2 minus py1 divided by py1 same thing substituting here you can substitute here convert this into a simple way py2 minus py1 into P by one by Q X one. Okay. Small small changes are there. You can expect the price elasticity of demand in the exam. So these are explained because if you, if there is any chance of explanation required, you need to explain this. Most cases you will expect the price elasticity of demand. Okay. Not the remaining two.
అడ్వర్టైజింగ్ అంటే అడ్వర్టైజింగ్ అని మార్చేసేయండి అక్కడ పీవై ప్లేస్ లో ఏ అని పెట్టుకోండి అడ్వర్టైజింగ్ సింబల్ అంతే అక్కడ కూడా ఆ ఫైవ్ ఇలాస్టిస్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేయండి ఓకే ఇస్ దట్ క్లియర్ దాంట్లో మీకేం ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఏం అడగడు ఓన్లీ ప్రైస్ ఇలాస్టిటీలో ప్రాబ్లం అడుగుతారు అడిగిన ఇఫ్ యూ కెన్ సబ్స్టిట్యూట్ ద వాల్యూస్ ఇన్ ద సేమ్ మేనర్ మనం ప్రైస్ చేస్తాం కదా అలాగే చేయండి అంతే అక్కడ అడగరు ఇన్ కేస్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గివెన్ 